in this video, we will look at G28 lying at angle. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released. In the last video, we learned the first pattern available to us, G26. In this, our sixth video in the series, we will learn the pattern G28, line at angle. The parameters for G28 are I, J, K, and T, if required. We can define G28 as follows. While beginning either by the present position or from a point indicated by G72, K number of holes are punched at an increment of I, with the angle J in relation to the X axis. So let's break this down. The I is the increment between the holes. J is the angle of the line of holes. K is the number of holes. And T, of course, is the station number. We covered angles in the previous video on G26. Please take a look at that video if you need more details. If we look at this example, we see that we have a line of six round holes with a diameter of 0.5 inches. The line of holes is at 30 degrees from the x-axis. The holes are equally spaced at two inches from each other and from the origin point, which is at x12, y8. So let's write a program for this in the punch sim software. First thing, where is the origin of the line of holes and is there a hole there? The origin is at x12, y8, and there is no hole, so we will be using a G72. G72, x12, y8. G28, i is the spacing between the holes, which is 2 inches. J, which is the angle of the line, is 30 degrees. And K, which is the number of holes, is 6. Remember, K is a quantity not a measurement, so never use a decimal point. We'll be using a 0.5 round tool, which is in station T266. G50 to end our program. Now let's simulate our program and see the result. If you want more details on the punch sim software, please visit cncsoft.com. And there we have our line at angle punched. Let's say we wanted a hole at the origin of the line at angle, which is more often than not the case with lines of holes. Then instead of G72, we would just punch a hole at X12, Y8 using the station 266. The next line, which is G28, would remain the same as the parameters did not change. The number of holes is still 6 because the origin is not counted. We can remove the T266 if we want, because we are already in that station with the previous hit. When we simulate, we see that we have the same line of holes, but with a hole at its origin. As with any pattern, the machine will punch a hole at X12, Y8, and read the next line. The next line is a pattern, G28, and since no G72 is specified for its origin, it will use the current position as its origin, which is X12, Y8. Now let's look at another example. In this drawing, we see a total of seven holes, consisting of two lines of holes. All the holes are 0.25 inches in diameter. Let's write a program for this. G72, X1.5, Y6, since there's no hole at the origin. G28, I, 0.625, J, 31.2, K, 5, T, 306. Now the second line of holes has its origin at the last hole of the first line, so we will use its current position as its origin. G28, I, 0.875, J, 47, 
Okay, two. Once again, let's use point shim to simulate and we will see our sequence of holes as specified on the drawing. That's it for the G28 command. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below or email us directly at support at cncsoft.com. See you soon in the next video as we continue our punch programming course series. Please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon to get notifications every time a new video is released.